Welcome back to Cactus Core Plays Psychonauts. How are you doing today, Bobby? I am fantastic, because I'm drinking mead. He is drinking mead, and it's it's really gross. Hey, screw you, man. It's great. <laughs> I don't know about that. And it's, uh, what time is it? It's uh, 2.46 in the afternoon. And I still have slightly less than half the bottle left, so, you know, life goals. <laughs> he started with most of it. <laughs> Fuck you, pros. Ah. Uh. Huh? Who are you working for? What? Uh... I'm with the Psychonauts. Who? Oh, that doesn't fit in. That doesn't fit in at all. Maybe I've got this all wrong. Okay, okay, but... Do this horrible thing, but in uh, conjunction with yes. who? What? This... Whom? Is the greatest level in this entire game. And I am so excited. Yeah, just throw a door and do Not head. another tracking device. <laughs> Going in there. <laughs> without his permission. That's right. That's fine. I'm, I'm helping him out. Uh-huh. He likes it when people go into his brain. Was he asking for it, too? Yeah. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see how he was dressed? No. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just a joke. Yes. This is usually backwards, by the way. Yes, now, which piece talks about the milkman? The one who opens the asylum gate? But it's all about the milkman. Can't you see? Is this like one of those 3D paintings? I can never do those. No, you just gotta learn to see it like I see it. There's something in the fridge that might help you see the world like I do. Ooh, that sorry, is some serial killer shit right there. I don't drink. Before noon, I mean. <laughs> it is afternoon. <laughs> Screw you, good sir. Uh, not in other recordings. What's it so? <laughs> it's afternoon right now. Yay, clairvoyance. Awesome. I would be surprised if clairvoyant wasn't the name of some kind of terrible, like book heroine who's a psychic Claire I'm Boyant. fairly certain it is yeah I would be more impressed if it wasn't the name of some Hollywood celebrities kid what the fuck there we go what I was stuck in the sink for a minute that's an odd one usually you're stuck in the closet in their way they can't hide again reading any and all fan fiction <laughs> that's somewhat good so clairvoyance is kind of cool in this game because I can see what the other people see and I can see how they perceive me. This is kind of cool. The milkman's dead? Ah, oh, crud. Burned up in a department store fire. Didn't you hear? No. Nope. At least that's what the media would have you believe. Ah, uh, yes. Or not? Fake news. Go to the graveyard. Dig him up. Oh, you'll find something all right. But it's neither man nor milk. Oh, Wait. shit. That may be true. Is is it ashes? Because he burned up. <laughs> well, I guess that's fair. Be careful. They're watching all the time. Hey. Now, how am I gonna find some creepy cool. graveyard in this nice, normal neighborhood? With little eyes, we're watching through blinds. That that was a nice touch. Yeah. I really, really love this level. I think that this is the, the level that this game should be known for. More than the Gogolore one. Not that the Gogolore one is bad. Just, you know. That this one's better. It's inferior. Oops, doodle. I should get that back. We only need one more badge. Oh, well, girl. That is true. What's that off the side there? What's what off the side there? Those little helicopter things, but it was down to the left. That thing. Oh, it's just choppers. Choppers everywhere. Okay. Choppers everywhere! But yes, this dude is a schizo, right? And he's paranoid and... Okay, sounds it's, good. It's great. And I can go into, I think, all of these houses. Oh, that's nice. And beat up their fridge. You get free stuff. 
I do that to my friends for age all the time. True. That's right. I'm that friend that comes over and raids your fridge. This fridge is my fridge. This fridge is your fridge. Fuck off. Alright, let's go. Did you just tell yourself to fuck off? Yeah. Okay. No, I told the camera angle to fuck off. Oh, well that too. But it's your camera angle and my camera angle. And that's a that's flamingo. The uh, flamingo is strange. Why is the flamingo strange? Why not? Everything is strange. Cameras are coming out of everything. Oh, well, you know, that happens. I should get that. What is that? Is it a stop sign? It's a stop sign. And you'll see why I need it so soon. But, let's go. Here. Yeah, there's figments in these houses, so I gotta go into, like, all of them. I Okay, I suppose you have to. May not do it on camera. But it is fun. He's totally gonna do it. What he does. All the cameras taking pictures. That's actually kind of a nightmare of mine. I cannot wait until the next page. Slow to 15 miles per hour. So these are the Hello, G Men. Crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. And they are all voiced by Steve Bloom. Nice. And see, because I'm holding my stop sign, he thinks I'm a road crew worker. Ahead. Not a through street. Nice. Whereas, if I put this away, I'm a mystery. And if I go in here... Stop. Road crew workers only be on the yellow line. You guys are road crew workers? Yes. We work on the road with these red signs. I see. Well, do you guys know where the milkman is? Why do you ask that question? Are you the milkman? Do I look like a milkman to you? That information is restricted to the road crew. Please move along. My red sign if I go in here, stop. This is a restricted area. You are not on the road crew. Yeah. I can get arrested later on, and then they'll take me in and all that kind of stuff. Nice. It's good stuff. Got it. All right. Just walking in these people's houses, stealing their stuff. All their identical ass houses with like nothing in them. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't aware that suburbia had to be so unique. Generally. More unique than the identical, you know, everything. No. No, that is not how that works. If you go down a road, all the houses are the same. Hello, fellow road crew worker. Fine. Welcome to the road crew. No. Model homes have several different flavors. Yeah, I suppose. Not everybody chooses the exact same one. Oh, fuck. You are dead. I am kill. That's okay. Road crew sign. Road crew. This I is my stop road crew I like to watch what they do with the signs. <laughs> and all the other things that they have. Because it's not just road crew. Stop. Camera time. Dangerous conditions ahead. Alright. Piggy piggy! That's what I'm told to be. People watching you from inside the house and then you go in and nobody's there. It's a little spoopy. Because that's how paranoia works. Yeah. I kind of like that. Because now that we're at the asylum, the next several brains we go into are people who have mental issues. Right? The first several ones that we talked to uh, were just like teachers or whatever. Yeah. That's fine. See, now these guys have the shears, so I can't go in there with the road crew sign. not because of my sense of professional responsibility. Okay, so you have to get this shears. Yeah, and this guy has a phone. Yeah. Because they see me with that as just a road crew worker. Right. It doesn't matter what else you are, you're not one of us, so you are not allowed. Right. That actually fits a lot of stuff. And I really love all of Steve Bloom's lines. I've listened to a YouTube video that has just all of them. And I there's a lot that I didn't even hear when I was playing through this game before. They're so, they're great. Somebody made a YouTube video just going through here getting all of Steve Bloom's lines. No, it's just like a, a audio dump of them all from the game's oh, files. So like somebody data mined it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people make YouTube videos of just like the weirdest, silliest things. Yeah. 
I mean, I'm not gonna say anything about that. Hello, You're both looking so at the microphone skeptically right now. Squirt. <laughs> Would you like to buy a box of my delicious rainbow treats? I would buy some cookies, but I don't have any milk. Do you have any idea where I could buy some milk for my cookies? Ah, creepy man! Yes, the way he said that was incredibly creepy. Yeah, I mean, I can't blame her. That, yeah. Alright, got Duh. the steamer trunk tag, son. Which, to be fair, I knew people in school that talk exactly like that. I got cheers. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta go trim them hedges. Look, I love it. They, get, <laughs> they got plungers, and it's like a trumpet. I love it. It's so great. I am a waste management technician. Because Spike Spiegel is really into jazz. Yeah, it's perfect. Uh, yeah, but Steve Bloom. Fucking awesome, dude. He's been in everything. And I love him in everything. Okay, maybe not everything. I think Laura Bailey's been in more because she has more voices. Well, okay, that's probably stuff. So. Get out of here. I mean, she can voice a dude better than I can voice a dude. What? Laura Bailey. She sounds more like a man than I do when she wants to. That's true. Not me, though. Uh, I suppose that's true. It is a good day for that activity you mentioned. Did you just Please eat join him? me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I don't have a rolling pin, so I can't go in there. Nope. Very nice. I don't have the birds. Keep talking. For the last several years, I have relied on prescription medication to make it through the days. <laughs> That is a excellent your mom joke. Oh, ho, ho. Rhubarb pie is great. Delicious. And yes, pies are both. This rolling pin is a tool I use to make pies. I just love listening to it. It is important to not to use too much pressure when rolling out a pie crust. Yes, it is. I am famous for my pie making abilities. No, you are not. Pie crusts should be rolled outward from the center. All right, I'll continue. I'm glad you are here to help me trim these hedges. I'm not trimming no hedges, friend. <laughs> Gotta let it grow all natural. Bro. That's right. No shave November and all that. No shave 2017, son. Oh, yeah, because we are doing that. Yeah, we're we, like almost eight months in. We are extremely shaggy people. Yes. Carries human waste. Uh, Scoob. <laughs> Wasn't his real, like, Scooby-Doo's real name, like, Scoobert or something like that? It's something Due weird. Due to illegal legal disposal of hazardous materials, sewer water is often highly radioactive. Radioactive. Don't think too much God. of that. Copyright. This hat box needs a hat box tag. No way. It won't ever pick up, like, my voice for that. Sure it will. No. Why not? Because my voice is not just like that guy's voice. Even if it was, it like uses like this technology to match. Oh, okay. A part of me wants to say, you're right, your voice is good. But oh! I, because I hate things and I can't just be happy about stuff. Talking mad shit. Boyd, fired again. Really, that song just got overplayed for me and I don't care for it anymore. Yay! Oh, it burned in a fire that he set. <laughs> Classic. Everyone loves setting fires. Uh, I do. Yeah. Like I said, everyone loves setting fires. I'm everyone. This guy needs a duffel bag I tag. Need a duffel bag tag, son. Cemetery. But I can't go in there without my flowers. That seems odd. I'm not yet a grieving widow. I mean, I suppose, but maybe with a rolling pin. Oh, girl. Let's see. Garden. Can. Just balancing it on his head. <laughs> Let's see. So many figments. Figments. Weird garden area. Seen any suspicious characters around here lately? I went to bird. My yes, bird. I took over the bird. Nice. With my clairvoyance. It's pretty great. Very 
very cool. Oh. Arr. How no? Oh shit. Do you have to be invisible so they don't see? Maybe. Not invisible. Maybe I just had to jump over the gate. Could be. I'm a grieving widow now. Because I have some flowers. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. I'm a grieving widow using my levitation ability. Let's see. No, oh, that's the wrong yeah, way. Because all witches fly. Oh, I guess. Burn on widows. Yeah, how. Man, I'm a terrible human. Yeah. Right. Uh, Bobby is glad that your husband is dead. Well, no. That's not true. Because he wants to move in. I was more inclined about a joke that my family likes to tell, and I just realized it was inappropriate without explaining the joke. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> uh, I see that you are grieving. I will give you your space. By playing golf. Okay. <laughs> Sad widow. He's a sad widow. Oh, it was my uh, my great great grandma had a couple of husbands, Why, God, and they why? they all passed sadly. So I never got to know any of them. I am alone now. But yes. I'm grieving. <laughs> she used to tell a story that the first one passed by by eating some poison mushrooms, life. which was unfortunate mm -hmm. because sad. food regulations and all that stuff just weren't the same back then. She's I do not great great grandma after all. Back then was a while ago. One. These flowers um, are a token of my remembrance for my And the second one. one died the same way. Oh. Eating poison mushroom. I wished my loved and the one third one died. Indicate me as the falling down some stairs. His plan. So it seems to be in the family. Probably. So we asked, why did he fall down the stairs? What happened there? She said he wouldn't eat the damn mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing in the cemetery? So are by grieving calling widow? a grieving widow a, a witch, it was, what hey, you find in the mausoleum? you killed things. Who is the milkman? Which is just as horrible. Yes. That book you found was dynamite. Blows the whole thing wide open. It does? Yes. I knew it. I was completely wrong about everything. But now, I've got it. That book came from the book depository. They must want to make us think that's where they want us to go. A book depository? Because they think we'll think <laughs> yeah. we know they really? know yeah. we know. So we won't go. So I shouldn't go to the book depository? Of course you're going to the book depository. Take the sewers. Watch out for watchers and radioactives and perpetrators. Some of those sewer workers are involved, I think. You'll need one of these. A gun. Now we're talking. That's <laughs> fake. It will help you fit in around the other assassins. Assassins? Wait a second. Beware the cows. Not all milk is enriched. That's real. What the fuck? <laughs> That guy thinks that I'm the milkman. Nope, yep. I like to see how other things see Raz in this game. The road is <laughs> Okay. Oh, wow, okay. I am on the road. What? This is Just, my stop sign. Look at those women's breasts. Oh, They're large. Crew oh, yeah. Welcome Fair to the road crew. Uh, fucking Steve Bloom. He was catcalling Rasputin. I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. Yes, I work on the road. Oh man. Okay, testing, I need more testing. One, stuff. Two, three. I don't Someday, have the rolling pin. The popularity still. of mobile phones will make my job obsolete. I like the puzzle piece. Yeah, kind I was of just noticing that. It's really cool. I fucking love this game. They're so clever. The are full of nope, this I'm not here. Stop. Get out of here. This is a restricted area. <laughs> What are they gonna do? Plunger you to death? They're yeah. not Daleks. Yes, they are. Oh, okay. Well, that that would actually make the game a bit more interesting to me. Game's already pretty interesting. Doctor Who fans unite. <laughs> not my thing either. I I, tr I did give it the old college try. You say that like there's a person out there listening who is not a Doctor Who fan. 
there are plenty of people who aren't Dr. Pink fans. Nope, you're the only one. I'm the this only is my one. Watering yes. Can. Okay. I use it on the plants to water. I them. guess that's fair. All right. So let's move on past this way. I've been to the Twitter. Everybody there is. Everybody on Twitter is a Doctor Who fan. Or Supernatural, or Sherlock, Super or usually Sherlock, all, yeah. Or usually all three. Yeah. Uh, of those, give me Supernatural. Uh, but I'm. None of those are like my primary thing. What is your primary thing? You know my primary thing. I know your primary thing. I don't know if you know this, but we're on microphone right now. Fuck off with your logic and reason. <laughs> I am a Harry Potter fanboy. I think I've actually already said that before. Yeah, but a bit, but I like to, to reaffirm it just to say exactly how much of a Harry Potter fanboy you are. I am incredibly a Harry Potter fanboy. Like, I don't really know how to describe that other than holy shit. Like, there are people who are probably bigger fans than me, because I still haven't been to the freaking amusement park. There are people who are bigger fans than you, because they were in the movies. <laughs> no. Little love good. Okay, maybe her. But the rest of them would not have stood for the shit that they did to those movies. They were getting paid to stand for that shit. They could, you know. They were getting paid quite a bit. Sure, but they could also have been like, hey, I'm not doing that shit. Remember all those other movies that we did? You wanted to do really bad? Recast me, bitch. And then they could just be like, okay, fine. He uh, is saying this to me, knowing that I bribe him all the time to do stupid shit for pennies. Pennies. More likely just, like, for soda or something. Yeah, usually for soda or tacos or burritos. <laughs> uh, shout out to Mr. Pib for the third time. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the uh, taco place across the street from us. Yes. I'm not going to say it because I don't want you people finding us, but holy crap are they good. They are pretty good. But they can't make Kevin's burrito because he's like, I want a burrito, but take away all the good stuff. Yeah, I don't like any of the good stuff, except for the only stuff in there is good stuff. And they rightly assume that he is wrong and put the good stuff on there anyways. And then I am very sad. Well, if you're sad, then maybe stop committing blasphemy to burritos. I'm gonna... Hey, Don Quixote is fucking up. Don Quixote sucks. No, it doesn't. It's actually pretty good. It sucks. You had it once. Yeah, and it sucked. And it was good. I will say it was better than Chipotle. Yeah, fuck Chipotle, dude. Chipotle is the word. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't work. I wonder why. Just can't quite put my finger on it, I guess. Six, four, four, nine. I got you, fam. Fair enough. I'm in. <laughs> And he's gone completely. Hey. How's it going, girlfriend? Alright. Punch. Do you only have one figment left to find? No. I will likely have to come back for all the figments in this one. Ah. Is that a bomb? Oh, uh, yeah, it looks like a, like a torpedo. Okay. In a nice coffin. Yeah. Everyone loves a coffin. I mean, I suppose. We're all dying to get inside one. <laughs> it's a good joke. I thought I so. I work in the sewers. I work in the sewers. I work in the sewers. Oh. You have neon footprints. Yeah. I find this I, I want to know where that G-Man went and why there's just some toilet at the end of this hallway. Well, where else would you put it? In a bathroom. The hallway is a bathroom. Oh, shit. But where did the other G-Man go? Down the corner. Ah! Okay. Let's pretend this was normal. Okay. I will do that. It looks like we'll have to call it an episode after this fight. Yeah. This apparently pretty easy fight. Uh... Yeah. It's kind of out of nowhere, though. Like, I always forget about it. 
It reminds me of that uh, second big ghost from Luigi's Mansion. Oh yeah, okay. I can see that. Oh shit. Uh... Kobe. <laughs> That's right. Get wrecked. Gonna smack it around a bit. I got you. It's dead now. Yay. I killed that thing real fucking fast. Go me. It, it, it was just dead. And it makes everybody happy. Everybody loves to be dead. Alright, so yeah, we should probably go ahead and call it for this episode. Mm -hmm. uh, let me go see if there's anything in here, though. Watering can, bitch! I'm watering. Sorry for my not being too funny this episode. Uh, I think there was a bit too much drinking going on. Probably I, I think a little I, bit. I think I crossed my limit here. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and call it for this one. Uh, who did you want to go ahead and do a shout-out to this time? All right, so when I was a kid, I used to watch this show a lot, and so did all my friends, and I got made of made fun of for it, called Bobby's World. Okay. And I love that show. It is so great, even to this day. But uh, I wanted to give a shout-out to Harry Mandel, who made that show possible, and who has done lots of funny stuff. Though. He's doing a lot of the, like, America's Got Talent Yeah, stuff, he's right? on that these days. Yeah, which I think is awesome. And he's a germaphobe, which is super cool. And he does not like Howard Stern touching his mother, which I can absolutely approve of. I don't want Howard Stern touching anybody. Okay, that's Th a bit much. That's just fair to the world. Okay, uh, sure. Sh shout out to Howard Stern. <laughs> no, you can't say that and then give a shout out to him. You gotta pick somebody else. Oh! <laughs> this is what happens when I'm just sitting listening and fucking around. <laughs> I kill myself. Alright, Mr. Gvonder, what about you? Uh, Who's shout out to? I'm like, well, it's the perfect person, really. Shout out to Steve Bloom. Uh, yes, Steve Bloom, you are the perfect man. I have uh, met him before. He's a very, very, very cool guy. Um... And I would love to meet him again. Uh, he's in everything, and I, I just love him in everything. Mass Effect 2, I love him. And this, I love him. And, uh, fucking Bebop, I love him. Saint Mark Shampoo, I love him. Just everything that he shows up in. I'm like, oh shit, it's Steve Bloom. You know those actors where sometimes you're just like, oh, it's this guy again. Motherfucker. I never get that with him. Like, I'm always more excited than anything. Yep, and he's very uh, fan-based. You know, he does a lot of things with the fans, which is very cool. Yeah. Uh, like that Toonami thing, where they ended up working with the fans to get it brought back, because he was the voice of the, the robot. Yeah, Tom. Yeah. So. It's pretty great. Uh, so, yeah, shout-outs to you, Steve Bloom. Awesome. All right, uh, guys, we will catch you next time. Thanks so much, guys. All right.